since she's our morning news gal, we sent our own daybreaker, Aaron Phalo, to check out the show happening in one of these schools. That's right, and as you'll see, for Aaron, it brought back a few memories. This class is like no other here at Bow High. Once the bell rings, these students get to work. Editing video clips, banging out copy, calling the shots. In three, two, one. And taking a seat in the anchor chair. It was reported by the residents that there was a bear in the area. By rotating from job to job, these students are getting a crash course in putting on a live morning show, which is then broadcast to the entire school. They learn about the time pressure and the time crunch and how to deal with the pressure of, of the deadline. They're also up on all the school buzz. They cover the stories students are talking about, like whether the cafeteria salad bar should be brought back, and if they like the changes that have been done to the Facebook homepage. I don't really like it that much because it's kind of hard to navigate through. The one responsible for getting today's show on the air is producer Sean McLean. You feel the pressure when you do the Oh, yeah. Yeah, definitely. There's a lot of pressure. Um, everyone's kind of looking to you for questions and answers. And if the script isn't done in time, then it's your fault. Some students live for the adrenaline rush. And because of this class, they're planning to major in communications at college. I fell in love with it, the technology behind the scenes in front of the camera. I love it all. So this is like my favorite class right now. Yeah, I love it. Senior Amanda Bernard is the director du jour. Her job is to switch from camera to camera during the show using a piece of equipment that they call the toaster. And I understand the toaster sometimes gets fried. Yes, and it usually happens during broadcast, and it's amazing. We have to restart it, and the anchors get what's going on because we can't communicate. And, and I think I just heard you let out a, a sound that I hear in our newsroom very often. <laughs> uh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but it just doesn't work, and yeah, I can't find what I'm looking for. And mm, welcome to live news. Yes, <laughs> yes, I'm very used to it now. <laughs> Ironically enough, students say the toaster tends to go on the fritz when their teacher Sam Dixon's around. And it does that throughout the entire class, or even before classes, after classes. It doesn't matter if I touch it; it usually shuts down. So come news time, let's just say he knows his place. Away from the toaster. Away from the toaster. <laughs> yes. Everybody, I haven't fried it yet today, so that's good. Before they go live, some segments are pre-taped. We watched as an exchange student recorded the Pledge of Allegiance in her native tongue. <laughs> Hi, Bohai. I'm Kat with today's Weird News. The students are always looking for ways to have fun and be a little different. Well, I was just going to do the weather one day, and Aubrey said, we should have an interpretive dance. And everyone seemed to think that would be a really awesome idea, so we just kind of did it. Thanks, guys. I'm Josh with today's trivia. And this is my interpretive dancing. You know how hard it is not to look over here? <laughs> Josh Serrard prefers to be behind the camera. After graduation, he'll be studying media, though, at UMaine. It's really fun. I mean, like, I, I love technology, so I like being around it, and I love cameras, so I always grab a camera or something like that, and it's really cool. I actually really like editing, so I love trying to edit video segments. Like. She's comfortable now, but Aubrey Rathbone found anchoring the news in front of the whole school a little nerve-wracking at first. It's hard because we're reading off of a script, and so it's hard to try and read it and then keep looking at the camera. And So no teleprompter? Nope, not at all. No teleprompter. It's kind of horrible, but, you know, the, the pieces of paper work. Pump up the bass! Being in this class brought me back to my days at another BHS. Bedford High School in Massachusetts, and a little show we called Yo Homeroom. That's me on the left getting my first taste of TV news. From the Burlington Mall, it's Yo Homeroom with Erin Phalo. Oh, 
look at that hair. It's the last week of school before Christmas vacation, so everyone here at Telemedia has decided to do a few special things, including shooting today's show from the Burlington Mall. So okay, enough embarrassment. Like Back into the vault. Here at Bow High, these students have even had the chance to cover some breaking news. It happened when a kiln in the art room set off an alarm. Hi, this is Dr. Rappel from the Morning News, and I'm investigating what happened this morning with the fire drill. Once back in the school, these news hounds were able to turn around the story by airtime. The kids are like, can we go get cameras and get in? I'm like, yes, grab cameras, go. They had managed to get all their interviews, import into the computer, and edit it up within a half an hour and they did a fantastic job. The technology assistant for the class is Bob Jakes. We kind of watch them be under the gun to get this live TV show out and and all the stuff that goes along with that. You know, they're trying to they're trying to the the big huge deadline is them getting on the air and all the stuff and how they how they do it, how they pull it together. It's great. In the end, today's show goes off without a hitch. That's all we have for you today, Bo. I'm Aubrey. And I'm Jess. Have a great day, Bo High. Nice. Look at that. Here we go. And it didn't crash. Yay, good job. It's not like any other class you take here. It's completely different. It's. You know, homework is minimum, and it, it's a different kind of work. It's not paperwork, it's not writing up essays, it's, I don't know how to describe it, it's, it's different, it's fun. Because of the, because of the great...